It's February 4th, 2018, so it's time for another monthly update video. I'm going to talk about what went on in January and what we've got in this short month of February. I always like to begin by highlighting three big things that I think my readers, viewers, subscribers, everybody else who, who might be seeing this could be interested in. And the first of these has to do with the video channel. I am starting a new series of question answer videos that I'll tell you more about in the February section, so stay tuned for those. The second thing is, those of you who have an interest in sci-fi, fantasy, horror, that sort of thing, you probably, if you missed it, you want to get in on the free course that I am offering in the Reason IO Academy, where I'm taking the Worlds of Speculative Fiction series and offering the resources that I provide to the participants here in the Milwaukee area to everybody worldwide online, as well as the videos, and, and I'm going to build a lot of other cool stuff for that. Big thing number three is a long-awaited class that I am finally uh, I think confident that I will be releasing in, in February and that's the Aristotle categories of course I know a lot of people have been asking about that so those are the three big things for the month ahead all right, so what went on in January? The month started out, in some respects, uh, a bit slow, and I didn't get as much work done as I would have liked because I had a bit of a accident. Uh, I fell down at the bottom of the stairs, so I didn't fall down the whole stairs, but I sprained my ankle and banged up my, my shin pretty good, so I wasn't able to like stand in front of the chalkboard, and, and it, it laid, it put a, uh, sort of derailed my, my intentions to begin exercising regularly as one of the things I wanted to do this year. Um, but you know, by the end of the month, uh, everything had healed up, and um, my wife and I have joined a local gym here, and we're exercising regularly. So in some respects, that's very good. Uh, you know, it adds energy in a certain way, but it also takes energy away from you as, as well, at least while you're beginning. But that's that. So what about events? Um, I did a talk here in the Worlds of Speculative Fiction series, third year that we've got that going. By the way, if you're not already enrolled in the free online course and you'd like access to the resources, the videos, updates about what's going on, you probably want to enroll in that. We're going to be doing, you know, uh, tw 12 great authors this year. I'll talk about one of them coming up in the February. Um, I also did a by invitation only, uh, not recorded session here locally in Milwaukee for, for a group on Simone de Beauvoir, uh, talking about her philosophy and her contributions. Um, did philosophy pop-ups and an Ask Me Anything session. These are all online events. Um, they Ask Me Anything and one of the pop-ups is with YouTube Live. You can see the videos for that if you're interested. And the other pop-up is Facebook Live. These are all sort of underwritten by my Patreon supporters. Uh, it's a way of me being able to give back to the, to the community of people interested in philosophy worldwide because my Patreon supporters help to um, you know, pay for the time that goes into that and the thought. So it's a way for me to, to you know, give something back, um, like I said. And uh, we talked about Plato's allegory of the cave for the philosophy pop. There's a lot of really interesting, far-ranging discussion on that. Uh, we had our MKE Stoic Fellowship meeting, uh, kicking off the year well. We're still working through Seneca's letters. And I was on uh, a radio show locally here in the Milwaukee area with River West Radio called Image for Hire, um, talking about, among other things, the allegory of the cave, H.P. Lovecraft, speculative fiction, philosophical counseling, how philosophy can be practical, how I got into philosophy in the first place. And then there was uh, another podcast that, that aired that I think I recorded back in December, perhaps, but actually it aired uh, in January, and that's the Paul uh, Kowalski podcast, and, and we discussed a lot of things, entrepreneurship, stoicism, uh, how philo again, how philosophy can be practical, how I ended up in this sort of line of work. So um, I'll put links to those below. Um, I also engaged in a lot of tutoring and a good bit of academic coaching and philosophical counseling 
and coaching in the month of January. A little bit of consulting work, a good bit of writing. I finally got Arexis Dianoetike, what, what used to be my main blog, and it's going to be my main blog again. Uh, up and running. I'm writing a bit shorter articles, you know, on it. Uh, I think that trying to write very long articles was was keeping me from actually getting the articles out in a timely way. Uh, a lot of work doing uh, stuff for, for Stoicism today, both editing and planning and behind the scenes. Um, some work with the Stoic Fellowship. Uh, I did some, some work on the Half Hour Hegel blog too, getting things updated since we've made some progress there. And got to work on a few other writing projects uh, that are much longer term, you know, book, book stuff. Um, another thing you might have noticed is that in January, I started contributing regularly to the uh, website or platform Quora, which allows people to ask questions and get answers. And so I've been contributing some of my own answers, most of them having to do with philosophy, a few of them having to do with heavy metal or, or other things as well. And people seem to like it, so, so that's cool. And I got a good bit of video work done, maybe not as much as I would have liked. I, I, Met my goal of six half-hour Hegel videos uh, for the month. I did two book review videos. I was hoping to get four in, but I actually got two done, so that's good. And uh, a number of core concept videos on Cicero's On Duties, great work in Stoic Ethics. Of course, the event video. Uh, I actually released a few older event videos that I hadn't gotten around to. And did some personal videos as well. Uh, on, on various topics, including why I like Cicero so much. So that's what went on in January. All right, so what's coming up in February? Let's start out by talking about events. And remember, all of these times are central times. So if you're participating in an online event, you want to make sure uh, that you take account of the time zone difference. So Tuesday, February 6th, 6 p.m., um, at the Frank Weinberg Library in Mequon here in the Milwaukee area. We will be having the ninth uh, session in the quarterly series, uh, Philosophers in the Midst of History. <clears throat> I'm going to be talking about Cicero, Greek philosophy, and the fall of the Roman Republic. Everybody, I think, probably knows I'm a huge fan of Cicero, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, Thursday, uh, February 8th, 7 p.m., we'll be having the... Uh, what is it, 24th, uh, episode, 24th session in the Worlds of Speculative Fiction series. This time we're concentrating on Fritz Lieber and his Fawford and the Gray Mouser series, you know, swords against deviltry, swords in the midst, swords, 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 all, all over the place. Great stuff. I've been really enjoying rereading this stuff, preparing for that. Then a week later, Thursday the 15th, at 5 p.m., we'll have a half-hour Hegel Q&A and discussion session online, video conferencing. If you want to ask me uh, about anything Hegel-related, German idealism, uh, we, we often range into a lot of other philosophical topics as well. This is open to the public, and you don't have to really know anything about Hegel to participate. Uh, it's something that is underwritten by my supporters of the Half Hour Hegel Project, so it's a way for me to you know, give back and uh, help people out as they're trying to study this difficult work, which is what it's all about. Saturday the 17th at 12 p.m., we have a, uh, another AMA session, again, underwritten by my Patreon supporters. So if you want to thank anyone, they're the people to thank for that. Um, literally AMA. You can ask me anything that you like so long as there isn't, you know, uh, profanity or, you know, some sort of racism or something like that in it, I'll probably answer the question. Uh, Google actually does a pretty good job of filtering out that stuff, quite frankly. Um, then later that day, a little bit uh, later on, I actually have something for my Patreon supporters. Uh, Philosophy Chat, which is much more, uh, you know, intimate uh, video conferencing. I see them, they see me. Uh, 
We get to chat in live, you know, in real time uh, about the stuff that they're particularly interested in. So if you're interested in, in getting involved in that philosophy chat, you might want to consider becoming a Patreon supporter. Uh, that's one of the perks at, the, at, at certain levels. Then finally, Thursday the 22nd at 6 p.m., uh, we will have our MKE Stoic Fellowship. We'll be talking about Seneca's letters again. Um, that you can see in the meetup. Um, and that is, is a lot of fun. We, we, we're, we've got a really great group for that meeting every month. I should, man, uh, I should also add that we do have two philosophy pop-ups coming up this month, but unless you're a Patreon supporter, uh, they find out about it at the beginning of the month. They've already been informed when they're going to be. You'll find out the day and time in my social media uh, and in my blog or Excess Dino Etique. Um, and then the other thing that I've got going on is I'm giving a talk about Diotima, you know, Socrates, uh, legendary teacher from the symposium. Again, for the same local group, uh, that won't be video recorded uh, by, by request of, of, of that group. Um, and uh, looking forward to a fun discussion there. So that's all the events. That's already quite a lot. Um, doing all the other same kind of work, a lot of tutorial stuff. Uh, some some coaching and some counseling, uh, some contracted work as well, doing some interesting things with, with ethics. Uh, you know, I am a, a consultant, so I, I do some some things on those lines with, with various clients. By the way, if you're interested in tutorial sessions and philosophical counseling or coaching or in bringing me in as a consultant, just go ahead and email me at greg at reason.io and we'll get the conversation started. Be doing a lot of writing. I've got a couple different book projects that I'm making some progress on as we speak. Um, and I also will be doing more writing in Erexus Do You Know Etique. Uh, I'm going to be, I have, a, I have a piece coming out in Stoicism today, a little bit later this month, on Stoicism and uh, romantic love and dating, sexual desire, all those sorts of things. Be doing some stuff in the Half Hour Hegel blog. I, I have got some pieces I've been working on in the Partially Examined Life blog and in the Heavy Metal Philosopher. We'll see if they come out later this month. Um, but, you know, I will be working on, on that stuff. I'm also doing some academic writing as well, gearing up for a few conferences, uh, polishing up some papers that are long, uh, uh, you know, they're not overdue in the sense that anybody's waiting for them, but I should have had them out, you know, in front of journals a long time ago. I'm also uh, still working on that Aristotle categories course. So you, su you should see that coming out sometime this month. Um, in the Reason I.O. Teachable Academy. Um, I'll put a link to that below. And of course, I'll, I'll have a big announcement about the course once it's actually airing. Um, I don't think I'm going to be working on the Marcus Aurelius course. Uh, I know there's somebody who keeps asking me about that, uh, in part because Donald Robertson has already got some stuff on that coming out, and because I have some other course material that I need to get working on before that. Um, but, you know, I think it'll be more than, than compensated by the other cool stuff that I've got coming out in the Reason IO Academy. Uh, the other things, oh, we have videos, right? So there's a video channel. I should probably end on that. Working on my half-hour Hegel videos for the month. I've already gotten the uh, reading shot, and, and I'm getting these ready to go. Uh, I'm going to do some more book reviews. I might do two or three this month. Uh, I don't know, if I get really ambitious, I might do four. And I'm going to do a few more personal videos. Um, but I'm also starting those answers to common questions. And I'm hoping to have some of those out early this week. Um, what I decided to do is there's the same questions popping up over and over and over again um, online. And um, I thought it could be cool to have a video that just addresses those and gets sort of at the bottom of, of what these questions are about and provide some really well-informed answer to it. So I'm going to try to keep those at about maybe, you know, five minutes tops. We'll see if I can pull it off or not. Uh, and then core concept videos, I'm going to be doing more on Cicero's on duties. Uh, hopefully I can get some Heidegger stuff 
later this month and I might even do a bit more. You know, I, it got me thinking, I don't think I have core concept videos on the allegory of the cave. Probably ought to do that. Probably ought to do some other Plato stuff as well. But we'll see how much I can get done. So that is the month ahead. That's all the stuff that's going on. Hope you have a great month and uh, hopefully I'll see some of you in these online or face-to-face -face events.